Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We are meeting in a presentation where I'm praying, where I am exceedingly praising the Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me in his faith, enjoying every moment that is given by the Holy Spirit inside this assignment of preaching the word. Today I've come to present a very unique presentation which I am also pleading unto each and every disciple, every soul, every believer, every saint that you need to keep your two ears open for the sake of the understanding of the word and for the sake of knowledge and wisdom of understanding this presentation. I've presented many ministerial representatives in different dimensions. I've marketed the minister of John the Revelator. I've spoken about the minister of fire which is the ministry of Elijah, the ministry of Shatrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I've spoken of prophets. I've spoken of the ministry of Moses, which is also the ministry of fire. The same Moses, also the burning bush. But today, I have been assigned by the Holy Spirit to come and present one of the most unique ministries one of the most influential ministries, a ministration that represents teachings that cover 75% of the New Testament. I want to present the ministry of Apostle Paul, the ministry of Paul. The Holy Spirit gave me a vision and after the holy spirit gave me a vision he told me that part of my ministry is under the ministerial dimension of paul the ministry of paul is a ministry and was a ministry that ministered dimensions in the word of god a ministry of teachings a ministerial dimensions that comes with the different diversities of the word and that is the ministry that we as mysteries and revelations in another wing represent indeed we represent the ultimate ministry of deeper mysteries and revealing the untold they unfolded and we bring light unto the seven churches but there is a ministerial dimension that i have never unlocked and taught concerning the ministry of apostle paul which is the minister of the word which is the ministry also of suffering Paul suffered a lot of things in ministry. He suffered many things, many things that he published in scriptures. He talks about stripes. He talks about sleepless nights. He talks about being shipwrecked. He talks about being beaten by rods. We have mentioned and we have uttered many things as narrated in the books that were inspired by Apostle Paul. And Paul traveled as a minister of the word. Paul traveled as a minister, as a preacher. He gave many insights that were prophetic, though he was an apostle who represented the apostles of apostles he represented many prophetic dimensions 
He represented many miraculous dimensions. But of all the abilities that he had been given by the Holy Spirit, he was given the ability of ministering in different dimensions. His ministry was of letters in the Word. He wrote many letters in the Word. He had the revelatory inspiration in all his letters. He would write to different churches. He would write in the manner of different dimensions of ministrations in the form of letters that were teachings, counselings, unto Ephesus, unto the Galatians, in different cities to different believers and unbelievers. He was also sent to the sinners, the unbelievers. He stood before kings. He stood before magistrates. He preached in and out of prison. He preached in the waste places. And all his calling, he was escaping. He was being imprisoned. He was being released. He preached in different places. Paul walked a journey that allowed him to preach in different places. His calling was not fixed in one place. Paul did not have one particular congregation. At one moment, he goes to Ephesus. And in Ephesus, he finds 12 men. And he's asking them, have you received the Holy Spirit? Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And it appears the men that were in Ephesus had not yet received the Holy Spirit. And as Paul spoke, the Holy Spirit fell upon them. And after the Holy Spirit fell upon them, he started disputing with them, confronting them, and rebuking them in the love of the word, in the ministration of the word. Paul taught many things. Up until his last hour, when he had fought the good fight of faith, Paul was beheaded. And after he was beheaded, Paul still exists. He still exists through his letters. Paul still exists through his writings. Paul exists through his teachings, which we still read up until this very day. And I had an experience with Paul in his teachings, in his word, and in different dimensions. And just earlier on, I remember sending a female disciple into the first heaven dimension and she passed it through the second heaven dimension and where was she heading in spirit she was assigned by the holy spirit to go and get a message of instruction from apostle paul he still exists in the dimension and the dimension where he exists he is still teaching the word he is still ministering unto souls he is now ministering to spirits is now ministering unto spirits in the dimensions and i released the disciple to go into that dimension where she received a word for the ministry she received a word on behalf of the revelator that pertained the ministry and the revelator and the necessary instructions that they were supposed to follow and then she descended to this realm she does know what she was instructed and she came with the testimony of how she saw a man that was wearing a, a white robe she could not see the whole body of this man but she was given the message by apostle paul now i want to take you into a passage in the book of Acts, chapter 28 verse 1 where i'm going to be giving you a narration and this narration i'm giving you just after i've given you my own narration in brief about the ministry of apostle paul paul 
soul has been captured and him and the other prisoners they are being transported to a certain destination and whilst they are being transported to a certain destination there are so many things that happened on the way to the level that though he was now a prisoner he could have also lost his life and all the other prisoners could have lost their life while he in the middle of the sea they are being shipped to the other end and the passage that i want to read here is in x chapter 28 verse 1. paul has strengthened the other prisoners and the other authorities who are the prison heads that way escorting and guiding the prisoners in this ship the ship has been tossed by the waves a lot has happened as the prisoners are being shipped to the other end and paul is also in the midst of these prisoners he has been given an opportunity to stand up and to preach and in Acts chapter 28 verse 1 when they were escaped then they knew that the island was called melita when they had escaped not the imprisonment but when they had escaped the risk and the danger of losing their lives after the ship had been tossed the ship was now in pieces and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness for they kindled a fire and received us everyone because of the present rain and because of the cold this letter is being written by paul after experiences that he experienced and when paul had gathered a bundle of sticks the letters that are being inspired here by narration part of those letters are letters that had already been read by timothy and part of those letters are letters that are being written in form of narration and part of those letters they are being written in the narrative context on behalf of paul and when paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on fire there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand you can imagine after the journey of many troubles being shipwrecked having to swim for your life and you are now feeling cold and the kindness that is being explained by paul day is that the barbarous people who showed them kindness the kindness the gesture that is being explained here is just of setting up a fire and the fire that was set up it was fire that paul explains in words of having been shown not just a little kindness because of just a fire there is a level of misery there is a level of suffering there is a level that when just fire is kindled for you you give thanks to the lord and that is the level that paul had reached and after paul was now feeling warm after the fire was kindled trouble still continued following him and there came out a viper out of the heat and fastened on his end and when the barbarians saw the venomous beast the venomous beast there is a series that is called the venom the venom it's a series that is called the venom where there is a, a creature that is called venom this creature is a significance of the venom of the serpent and it has been script written and defined to 
define the venom of Lucifer, yet it is a creature. Now, when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said amongst themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet the vengeance suffereth not to live. The ministry of Paul is all about adversities. The ministry of Paul is all about challenges, sufferings. But those sufferings, they keep him going forward. Those sufferings, they keep him alive. Those sufferings, they send him into another level of demonstrating the power of God amidst all the trouble that will be happening. A man that has just escaped the sea, a man that has just escaped trouble, a man that has escaped the most wrathful death of being drowned is now having to fight a venomous beast that is now wrapping his finger and it is stinging him. A venomous meaning a poisonous, a serpent stinging on the finger. Now, and he shook off the beast into the fire and he felt no harm. Why? Because he represents the minister of fire. How about after Paul had been stung by this serpent, all those that were looking at him, they looked at the hand and he thought that in just a few moments this hand should be stolen. They looked at him hoping and believing with the level of their understanding of the dead serpent that had stung him. They believed that in just a few moments he would have fallen down dead certainly already. But however, they did not understand that nothing can ever kill one that has got the assignment of the Lord. But after they looked a great while, they saw no harm come to him. They changed their minds and said that he was a God. The ministry of Paul has got so many troubles to the level that at the level where they expect Paul to have been killed by a serpent which was poisonous, Paul remained alive. What kept Paul in the ministry of Paul alive was the assignment. In the same quarters where possessions of the chief men of the island whose name was Publius who received us and lodged us three days cautiously. This name, who is called Papilius, who received them, was a man who lodged them for three days consecutively. And it came to pass that the father of Papilius lay sick of a fever and of bloody flux, to whom Paul entered in and prayed and laid his hands on him and healed him. So when this was done, others also which had diseases in the island came and were healed. Are you understanding this child of God? A man that had been stung by a serpent, a man that had to swim to the seashore, a man that has been saved from one wrath to the other is the man that is now praying for others. A man that is a prisoner, a man that has suffered many things, a man whom others when they look at and they say this man is the one that is many troubles is the man that is actually a deliverer paul lays hands and heals them so when this was done others also which had disease in the island came also and they were healed who also honored us with many honors and when we departed they elated us with such things is was necessary after three months we departed in a ship of alexandria 
which had wintered in the Aisley, whose sign was Kester and Pollux, and landing in another city there we stayed for three days, and from there on fetched the compass and came to the other city, and one day the south wind blew and we came to the next city again where we found brethren and where we desired to carry on with them for seven days the ministry of paul was all about traveling from one place to the other and so many times paul would lodge in places paul would rent in different places paul would sleep in any place for the sake of the ministry for the sake of the gospel for the sake of the word for the sake of the believers the saints he preached to different classes as i've said he preached to prisoners he preached to dignitaries he preached to poor people he preached to the middle class he preached to all types of people all kinds of people i'm here a child of god to present and to represent the minister of paul the minister of the word the minister of faith the minister of righteousness the minister of the knowledge of the word of god the ministry of suffering the ministry that endures to the end in the name of jesus